Nike, Tifu, and a new jungle boss. Hey, what's up, everyone? Hello, and welcome to Two Nerds on a Couch. I'm Beth. And I'm Thor. The 25.10 update is here with new augments, map changes, and a ton of news and information from around the world of Fortnite. So hold on to your hats as we get into it. Let's kick things off with a new set of kicks. Nike has come out strong with a new collab set. On the Fortnite side of this collab, there is a brand new UEFN map called Airphoria. This experience was made by a collaboration between Beyond Creative, Nike, and Epic Games using Unreal Editor for Fortnite. The Airphoria Island is available now through June 27th. You can access it via Discover or Island Code. Everyone who plays this island for 10 minutes or more will receive the Air Max 1 86 back bling starting June 28th. Please note that it may take some time for you to see the gift box containing this free cosmetic item. Just as a heads up, there is some background music on this island, so for those who post content or stream content, please be aware that this is copyright music and has the potential for DMCA claims. There are some cosmetics available in the item shop as well. If you are picking up any of these items, please be sure and use code TUNARS ON A COUCH in the item shop as it helps us out. Thank you very much for doing that. Jumping to the Nike side of the collab, if you are at least 13 years old and connect your Epic Games account to your Nike Swoosh account, you will be able to obtain a digital NFT from Nike. See Nike's website for more information about that NFT. This collab goes beyond digital as you can also purchase Fortnite x Nike apparel with prices ranging from $35 and up. We've got a link to the apparel and the creative island code in the notes below. With this 25.10 update, there are a few weapons, items, and augments that are new or unvaulted. The shockwave grenade has made its return to the loot pool, but only for zero build modes. This is just the first set of unvaulted movement items for this season. It is rumored that the quad crasher and grappler gloves could be making a return soon. The tracker's armory augment has also come back, and a couple of new augment perks have also joined the ranks. The flare gun itself has also been unvaulted. Cover yourself in mud to regenerate health and shield with a new mud warrior augment. And be sure to pick up a few more small bullets to fill up for the SMG extended mag augment. You cannot shoot what you cannot see. Activate the new cloak gauntlets to become practically invisible. Cloak gauntlets allow you to blend near seamlessly with your surroundings and can be obtained as floor loot and in chests. You'll be covered in kinetic ore for a limited time before the gauntlets enter a cooldown. There have been a few wildlife changes with this update as well. Chickens and sky jellies have been vaulted. The amount of wolves and boars have been reduced. And fishing spots have also been turned down. While this chapter isn't known for map changes besides season transitions, there have been a few subtle differences with the 25.10 update. It seems the convoy of luminaries are spreading out and researching various areas of the jungle areas. What will they uncover? Last week, Optimus Prime could be heard via radio transmissions, giving us a warning. This video clip from Tabor Hill has the audio that was heard. Greetings. My name is Optimus Prime. If you are hearing this message, the time has come to make your escape. This reality is doomed to collapse, but hope is not yet lost. I cannot sustain this broadcast for much longer. Listen, and more will follow. The number of NPCs grew as Brian and Riptide joined the cast of characters on the island. You can find Riptide in the very north of the island near the barges. Brian can be found just south of the Neon Bay Bridge. Both of these NPCs are looking for the Coral Bunnies. Will they find them? The main NPC that was added in is Wild Guard Relic, who emerged in the jungle. Defeat this boss and Wild Guard Relic's Cloak Gauntlets will be yours for the taking. With this mythic version of the Gauntlets, you'll be able to cover yourself in reflective kinetic ore to stay hidden longer with a shorter cooldown. Upon defeat, not only will Wild Guard Relic drop his cloak gauntlets, but he'll also drop Relic's MK Alpha Assault Rifle. 
pick up this mythic weapon to pack a whole lot of power. Are you a fan of the cloaking gauntlets? Let us know in the comments down below. These super level styles are now available for you to unlock once you reach level 125 through 200. Here's a look at those styles for Mariposa, Ryan, or Rian, or whatever her name is. Lorenzo. Trace. And Relic. In other cosmetic news, the Combat Tech Jewel Starter Pack is now available in the item shop. Thanks again to anyone for using our support a creator code when picking up this awesome pack with a snapshot of jewels and 600 V-Bucks. The Starter Pack for Save the World is coming very soon and will be Clip. Here's a look at Clip. The new PlayStation Pack will feature VV Chroma for those who have PlayStation Plus. And in our final bit of cosmetic news, it seems that we have another collab with The Witcher. This time we've gotten Siri and Yennefer. These two have come to the item shop, but the collab doesn't stop there. As with the previous Witcher collab, there is a set of Fortnite, Creative Islands, and possibly another website quest tie-in. If you're a fan of The Witcher and missed out on Chapter 4 Season 1's Geralt, then this might help make up for it. Tell us how you feel about this or any other collab in the comments down below. We haven't really talked about Save the World in many of our recent videos, but we wanted to touch a bit on the really big news with this update. As of 25.10, you will no longer get V-Bucks for the daily login bonus. Instead, you'll need to complete daily and or weekly quests for those V-Bucks. The amount of V-Bucks for those with Founder Packs purchased before July 2020 will see a slight increase of V-Bucks with this new method. Don't forget, you can also earn a decent chunk of Battle Pass XP this way as well. In other Save the World news, take a trip back to the Blasted Badlands in the 25.10 update. This venture season includes the Rage Meter modifier, venture level rewards, and returning venture challenge quests. Dennis Jr. returns to the event store, and the burger boss turned hero, Dennis, includes his own quest line. The imposter quest line follows Dennis's journey from survivor to warrior. With his unique perk, Burger Buff, you will turn eliminations into tasty burgers for health and energy regen. In competitive news, it seems Ranked has undergone a reset, several crashes, and has been re-enabled. The reset was planned, and players will need to jump into Ranked again if they want to compete in any of Epic's run tournaments, provided Ranked modes are enabled and working properly. This clip from FireMonkey shows the servers not functioning properly. Have you jumped back in? What's your rank? And now for something completely different. Pro Gamer Tifu recently announced a hiatus from the world of content creation. Tifu won several Fortnite tournaments, had a locker bundle recently, and made a huge impact on the Fortnite community. His absence will be felt. On a brighter note, Nintendo recently announced a remake of the Super Mario RPG. While this has nothing to do with Fortnite, both of us nerds are super excited for this and several other games coming out this year. And back to some Fortnite-related news. It seems that Epic is testing Season 26, which could be Chapter 4 Season 4, or the beginning of Chapter 5. I guess we'll find out in late August or early September. Something happening a lot sooner, however, is that Epic has added the 25.11 to the staging servers, which means the summer event starts sometime next week. We will of course go over that update, so be sure and subscribe and ding that bell so you know when that video goes live for you. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to use code TUNARS on the couch in the item shop, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.